Hey, subscribe to this channel. Get two free recipes every week. That's fantastic. You gotta subscribe just for the recipes alone. But you're gonna get something else today. You're gonna get a great recipe, very healthy soup recipe. And soups are really healthy. All right, so it's a lot of vegetable, but what happens is this. As you cook food, a lot of the nutrients leach out, right? That's what happens. Like all the water-soluble vitamins are gonna come out of vegetables as you simmer them in a liquid, right? Makes sense. But here's what happens with soup. The vitamins leach out, where do they go? Into the soup, and then what do you do? You eat the soup. That's why soup is so healthy. We're gonna make a minestrone today. Nice Italian vegetable soup. So let's get cooking. Start with one onion. Hey, we're going to be chopping a lot of vegetables, so I broke out my chopper. Woo, this is a nice chopper. Hey, I got it on Amazon. I get a lot of stuff on Amazon. I'm an Amazon affiliate. That's fantastic. That means that if I find something that's like worth talking about, I'll let you know. And you go to Amazon, you check it out. If you buy it, I get a commission. That's good for me. Hey, good for you too. You get a nice piece of equipment. Check out the links in the description below. Any equipment I use here, I get on Amazon. How wonderful is that? Okay, this is why I have this chopper. I put it on the big, the, the large size, like that, because I want the nice size vegetable cuts. How easy was that? How easy was that? Done. That's why I like this chopper. This is a cast iron pot. It's covered with enamel. It's nice. Heats, the, heats up very gently. Distributes heat very well. Excellent for making soups. That's what we're doing today. We're making a soup, right? Hey, this is an Italian vegetable soup, so we got to start with some olive oil. That's wonderful. About two teaspoons is nice. We got that one onion chopped. About a half inch chopped. Hey, everything's going to be a half inch chopped today. I put the onion in the pan first. Get rid of the sulfur in the onion. That's good. You don't want sulfur in your uh, soup. No good. Too, uh, it's not pleasant. I want a pleasant soup. Have a carrot. Okay, I peel that up and I'm going to cut it. So it can fit in there, in the cutter. See that? Watch how fast this is. Oh, it's cut already. I'm going to use one celery rib. Okay, same thing. Get that into a size that can fit nicely. In here. Hey, done. That was great. Hey, how about zucchini? That's great. I got to cut this a little special though. I don't want a zucchini that's too big or too small. Medium zucchini is very good. I cut the ends off, and now I'm going to cut alongside the zucchini about a third of the way in, like that. Rotate it, and cut all around the zucchini. I don't want this, it's too spongy. When you cook this in a soup, it's going to get all mushy and spongy, it's no good. I want this part, that's the good part. That's wonderful. I get a good handful of green beans. It's about a cup of green beans. And they've been snipped at the ends, nice and clean. And what I have to do now is I have to I have to cut them into bite-sized pieces. Hey, that's the whole trick to making soups. You know, everything's gotta be bite-sized. Everything's gotta fit on that soup spoon because if you have something that's too long when you eat it, all the broth of the soup drips all over your face. It's not good. So when you make it. Make sure everything's bite-sized, looks nice, eats nice. That's the way to do it. That's what a chef would do. Check this out. Put it on there like that. Beautiful. Got it. 
Woo, that's wonderful. Something very important now. You know what that is? That's anise, or sometimes called fennel. It's got the flavor of, of black licorice. I love this stuff. First you gotta do is cut these leaves off. You can't use these leaves for much. They're too much uh, fiber in them, they're too hard. You can use them like to flavor something. You use these little um, leaves here as a garnish, very nice, but not in the soup. I need half of this. Okay, this I'm gonna save for something else. In the middle there's this core, you gotta cut that core out. Hey, guess what we're gonna do? We put it right on here like that. Watch this. Hey, there you go. See how onions cooking nice. You don't want any uh, color on there. You just want it to cook nice, slowly, no color. Add all your vegetables to it. It's great. Okay, so one more vegetable I'm going to add is going to be cabbage. I like to use cabbage because it gives it a nice sweetness. I got like a medium head here. I'm going to use a quarter of that. Hey, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a core in here. I'll cut that out. Beautifully done. Keep stirring that pot. Hey, what's happening is that the water in the vegetables are evaporating and it's intensifying the flavor of the vegetables. It's going to be an excellent soup because the vegetables are going to be so flavorful. That's wonderful. Okay, so I sweat these vegetables. I'm cooking them no color. I'm just evaporating the moisture inside to intensify that flavor. Now these vegetables are almost cooked. Not quite, still a little crunchy, but almost cooked. And now I can finish the soup. Wow, this smells like vegetable heaven. Wonderful stuff. Okay, I chopped up three cloves of garlic. I throw that in there. One can of diced tomato. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Half teaspoon of oregano. I have six cups of roasted vegetable broth. See that brown color? I mean the roasted vegetable broth. Good stuff. Hey, I'm going to simmer this for about 20 minutes and then we're going to finish it off. Woo! I got something special to put in there. I got to show you. This is my favorite pasta. Okay? Orecetta pasta. My favorite. I'll tell you why. Check this out. That's the shape of a pasta. Like a little hat. They make it with their thumbs. Like that. Okay? Woo! And you got that little shape. It's nice and soup because it's got a little cup. Like the broth fills this little cup. And when you eat it, it's very flavorful. I like it. I like it. It's nice. Okay, so you cook this separately in salted water for five minutes. And then we're going to add it to the soup. You, you cook it for five minutes and then you rinse it, then add to the soup. I don't want too much starch. I don't want this to like thicken the soup into a stew. It is a soup. It should be a soup. So I'm going to use a half a cup of this. And I'm going to cook it for five minutes. Then I'm going to rinse it off. And then I'm going to add to the soup. Simmer the soup for 30 minutes more. And then we're done.